Good evening, coming up tonight. Most recall the most recent home game by the student gate incident, but find out why DHEC is now saying to avoid the stadium entirely. You know, I, they have a new coach, he's doing a great job. That's head coach of Gang Gamecock Women's Soccer looking ahead for the start of the SEC season. We'll give you more about the match as it draws closer. And finally, if you've been struggling to stay above water, find out how you can catch the wave towards better mental health. All of that and more tonight on SGTV Nightly News. Live from the Kennedy Greenhouse Studio, this is SGTV Nightly News. Good evening, Carolina. I'm Calista Yost. And I'm Caitlin Ashbaugh. Thanks for joining us tonight. South Carolina lawyer Alex Murdahl was released on a $20,000 bond this afternoon after being arrested on charges of conspiracy to commit insurance fraud. Murdahl surrendered himself to authorities this morning after an intense three-month investigation, which began with the murder of his wife and son. SLED also arrested Curtis Edward Smith, a former client of Murdaugh's, and charged him with assisting in a suicide plot. The plot originally consisted of Smith shooting Murdaugh on September 4th in Hampton County to allow Murdaugh's surviving son to collect a life insurance policy of $10 million. However, the scheme was botched. According to the arrest warrant, both Smith and Murdaugh admitted to conspiring in the suicide attempt. A bond of $55,000 has been set for Smith. Yesterday afternoon, U of SC sent on a message reinforcing the city of Columbia's mask mandate. The big update? Masks will be required at williams Bryce Stadium for the next home game on September 25th. And make sure you've got one when you get to that gate, because not wearing your mask could result in a $100 fine. This specific mandate comes because williams Bryce Stadium is considered a crowded outdoor space, meaning masks must stay on. DHEC is warning people to steer clear of kittens in the area surrounding williams Bryce Stadium after a rabies exposure. According to DHEC, a stray kitten found near the cockaboos went into the lab for testing on Monday, where it was confirmed to have rabies the next day. A person who came into contact with the stray between Key Road and Bluff Road was immediately referred to their health care provider. It appears the kitten is also a part of a larger feral colony that lives in the area surrounding the stadium. DHEC warns that, quote, any person who has been bitten, scratched, or potentially exposed to the saliva of an animal, particularly a cat, around the area should contact their health care provider. The state of South Carolina reached a big milestone today. This morning, SC DHEC announced that South Carolina has reached a 50% vaccination rate, meaning 50% of eligible patients are fully vaccinated. This milestone is a big step towards the state's 70 to 80 percent goal, but DHEC will be continuing its work getting SC residents vaccinated through various events, including vaccination sites at mobile vaccination clinics, pharmacies, and even in Carolina and Clemson home football games, which is a super interesting place to get vaccinated. Yeah, for sure. And I've been seeing a lot of articles about free vaccination clinics provided by DHEC, and I think this is a big step forward because, you know, we all want to get back to the full capacity of I know. I fully agree. Coming up, SEC season is here and the Gamecock baseball and women's soccer teams are shaping up to start their conference matchups. Our very own Will Kronzberg will catch you up on what you need to know. Stay close. Welcome back everyone. Several South Carolina teams will be opening up conference play in the SEC in the next few days. Here's SGTV News 4 Sports Will Kronzberg with the story. Will? SEC season is here. Before Shane Beamer, Zeb Nolan, and the football team begin conference play at Georgia on Saturday night, the Gamecock women's soccer team will face their first league foe tonight in Columbia, Missouri. That's right, they're taking on the Mizzou Tigers right now as they look to go 1-0 in the SEC. The Gamecocks are coming off of two tough losses against ACC opponents Clemson and Virginia Tech, but sit at 5-2 for the season. Listen to what Coach Shelley Smith had to say about tonight's matchup. You know, I She's doing a great job. Speaking of SEC play, the Gamecock baseball team just dropped their 2022 conference slate yesterday. The schedule for Mark Kingston's squad is an interesting one, to say the least, as they will have just one set of back-to-back -back weekends at home over the final 10 weeks of the season. South Carolina will lead off conference play at Tennessee on March 18th through the 20th before returning home to play Vanderbilt the final weekend of the month. 
To cap off the season, the Gamecocks will travel to rival Florida and make their first appearance at the brand new Florida Ballpark at Alfred A. McKeithen Field. The remainder of the South Carolina schedule is expected later this fall, but go ahead and block off the third weekend of February to be at Founders Park and support the Gamecocks. That's all for Carolina Sports. Back to you guys. Thank you, Will. Coming up, we'll clue you in on a new way to de-stress if this semester has you feeling overwhelmed. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Frank Martinez. First of all, I want to say happy Hispanic Heritage Month. It did start yesterday, so just want to throw that out there. No, and I'm enough. Brianna Rao, here with tonight's news in local entertainment. As we nosedive into the middle of the semester, it's important to keep our mental health a number one priority, Gamecocks. This weekend, Saturday, September 18th, you can catch the wave at the Columbia Wave Mental Health Fest, a festival dedicated to focusing on your well-being and keeping a healthy mind. The fest holds boots with financial counseling, free haircuts, exercise classes, and health screenings complete with live entertainment and amazing food. The fest will be held at the South Carolina State, Found Gr State Fairgrounds from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and admission is free. This month is also National Recovery Month, so what better way to step away from the chaos and focus on yourself? Wow, this is genuinely a great way to, you know, relax your mind and just take 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 a little load off from all the classes. And exactly, stuff midterm are. season is coming, and this is a great way. Exactly, I agree. Now, Carolina will be taking the Georgia Bulldogs this Saturday at 7 p.m. And if you don't have a place to watch the game, U of C will be hosting a watch party at Founders Park, which is free of admission and will provide free, yes, free Chick-fil-A and some Founders gear here and there. For those needing a lift, transportation will be provided in the form of shuttles running continuously from the Horseshoe starting at 6 p.m. What a wonderful opportunity to get some free food, am I I'm right? I'm gonna be there. Oh, of course, yeah. not only free food, a beautiful game. Oh. What more could you want? Exactly. Calling all sneakerheads, this Saturday, September 18th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., Midlands Tech is hosting Flame to Fire Sneaker Fashion Show. This event is not only displaying some fire kicks, but also selling them. Vendors will line the streets with over 60 different shoe brands, including Soul Connect, a company labeled with being one of the first sneaker spots on the East Coast. To learn more about this event, go to stayhappening.com slash flame to fire. Are you going to be there? I know you were saying you were a big sneakerhead. Yes, I do. I did just recently spend a lot of money on a pair of shoes, which is probably not a responsible decision, but I love sneakers. Yeah, and you got to check I, out I'll the community. Sure, I'll for sure try to be there. So, Okay, well, if you're a fan of cars, you'll definitely like this. Columbia Car Meets is coming together to put an event for the whole family. So if you are looking for some high-speed fun, this Sunday is your chance. The event will feature some incredible cars. It will, it will be from 6 to 11 p.m. Tickets are only five bucks a piece, and the venue is in the Columbia Speedway. Now that's all we have for your entertainment news tonight. Coming up after the break, I'll give you a look at your weekend forecast. So please, stay close, Carolina. Welcome back, Carolina. My name is Frank Martinez. I'm your local weatherman, and I'm very excited to give you the headlines for this week. So, we're gonna start with beware of rainstorms. Yes, they are coming. We experienced some of that today. I have the bad news of telling you guys that we will continue to see that throughout the next couple days. We are going to have that wet weather through the weekend. I do not bring the best news this time, but I promise that it's the best I can do. I just got to give you guys the, my honest truth, okay? Football, it is a great time to be away because, again, it is going to be very wet and rainy throughout this week and the next weekend, the, couple, the next couple days. So the temperature will stay warm, but, again, the rain is going to stay with us. Moving swiftly on to our highs today in Carolina, as we can see, most of these were actually quite low compared to what we've been experiencing for the past couple of days. Uh, we did have that high temperature of 86 in Florence and the 84 and 84 and the both of the 84s in Myrtle Beach and Charleston, which were our highest temperatures. And again, guys, yeah, we were we were pretty low for the for the rest of Carolina. Tonight it, we have the low of 70. And it's going to feel like 70 because our wind was actually northeast, 4 miles per hour, very low. Nothing that would, would change the way the temperature feels. Our humidity was quite high with that 90% as it was drizzling and raining throughout today. Local time 712 and the sunset will actually be at around 728. 
the cloudy skies, the rain staying with us, guys. So now we have a look over here to Thursday. Yes, the sky was falling today and it will continue as you guys can see from our Friday, our Saturday and our Sunday. Thunder and lightning. So yes, be ready for the Friday, Saturday and Sunday of thunderstorms. We do have those nice temperatures of 78, 84, 87, and 87. And as we continue to our Monday and Tuesday of next week, it will actually stay pretty warm with the uh, 86s and the thunderstorms and the rain should be away. The clouds are gonna stay with us. That has been it for me. I am Frank Martinez, your local weatherman. And as always, please remember to trust your weatherman. Please stay close because when we come back, we're gonna have another edition of Carolina Canines. And finally tonight, tonight's Carolina canine is Callie. The picture was sent in to us by USC student Sarah. Now, Callie may be a typical pup, but she thinks she's a full water doggo. Callie loves to take long walks on the beach with her mom and get as wet as humanly possible. And it's so nice to finally see a dog with the best name ever. There you go. And yep. also, <laughs> as someone from Charleston who loves the beach, but has a dog that isn't a big fan of water, I will be living vicariously through Callie and her <laughs> owner. I think that's so amazing. All right, and that's all we have for tonight's edition of SGTV Nightly News. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SGTV at USC. To keep up with all of our content, be sure to also visit us online at SGTVonline.com. For SGTV Nightly News, I'm Callista Yost. And I'm Caitlin Ashball. From all of us here at SGTV, have a great night, Carolina, forever to thee.